Hey, what's up guys? This is Atlantis Refurbished, back again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about how your life path adjusts itself for the highest learning potential. Um, so to start off, I'm going to go over how everybody has a different life path. Um, so before we were all born, um, we were all in higher dimensions of consciousness. And we're fully connected with our higher self or our soul. Um, when we were in this higher state of consciousness, um, before we were born, um, we knew so much that it was hard to learn as many lessons as we could um, by incarnating into a human body on Earth or into like third dimensional consciousness, uh, which is another name for Earth. Um, so basically, we all consciously choose to incarnate here and forget or have amnesia that we made this decision. Um, and this is for the purpose of basically learning first-hand lessons in lower dimensions that would be impossible to learn otherwise um, because our perspective would be too high um, and too wide to be fooled by the lessons and challenges of life. Um, so basically the reason that we would want to do this as souls is to be able to advance spiritually, um, which is the true purpose of existence, um, in my opinion. Uh, we basically choose to fall from... I'm not sure that's the right term, but like sort of fall from heaven, um, you could say, which is what higher dimension means, heaven, um, it's another term. Um, it's where you see you're free from the burdens of the ego. Um, when you're stuck in your ego, which is what most of this, or a lot of this life is, we play out these characters. Um, that's where a lot of your struggles come in. Um, but when you're like connected up there, those are gone but it's also too easy, so we basically choose to come down here um, again and gain perspective on why people struggle down here and also to learn in general. Um, we base, Another thing is that we all knew, we all knew in advance um, what general family, community, and societal situation we were going to be born into, um, as well as what general or general possibilities for life paths we would most likely take based off like who we were um, however obviously life has like many twists and turns um, that even higher knowledge cannot predict um, and your higher self cannot predict before you're born and that is where the topic of this video comes into play um, so basically our higher self which I've talked about in other videos and most people watching this type of video would probably already know uh, but if you don't know, a very quick description is that our higher self um, is basically the highest part of ourself or our soul um, that has lived all of our lifetimes and is directly connected to the source of creation um, or what many call God or the universe. Um, we are guided throughout our entire life by our higher self or our soul. Um, obviously, though, um, even though we're guided, we aren't always going to make the exact perfect decision or the uh, optimal decision in every situation uh, because we are human for now um, so and we make mistakes so mistakes um, so when we are starting to go off the course we made um, or made the decision to incarnate into our higher self will basically work with the infinite intelligence of God to put us back on course as much as possible um, I can't go. I can't go into how that is done simply because it's far above what any human um, human brain can fathom as far as intelligence goes, um, and also it's just God, so nobody does. Um, but like basically, we are seeing things from a limited perspective on Earth, or a very limited perspective of what is actually the truth for the duration of our experience as a human being. Um, a lot of what we see is an illusion because we're seeing things through the perception of our egos and the perception of ourselves. That's not necessarily the truth. And that's what lower dimensional consciousness means. You're seeing things from a very limited perspective. Uh, my name's Brennan, so I'm seeing life through my perspective. Um, the more you connect with your higher self, though, the more you are able to see other wider perspectives than just yourself. Um, and that's like what you connect to when you're like, doing charity work or anything like that. Uh, moving on though, um, the good news is that while we are in our bodies, um, or that while we are in our bodies, yeah, basically our higher self um, isn't 
stuck in our body with us only um, while it can connect to us and we are a part of our higher self obviously because it's our self um, our souls also still reside in upper dimensional consciousness um, or heaven simultaneously um, so it can relay info to us and basically influence us to make the decisions that will at least relatively put us back on track um, while this takes place regardless of how spiritually aware you are um, the more you connect to your higher self your true self or your soul um, which are all like the same thing um, the clearer your intuition becomes therefore the better your guidance becomes um, because you kind of just intuitively know which decision is right for you um, and I'm assuming that everybody wants to be on the highest path possible um, so I'm going to go over some ways on how to deepen your connection to your higher self and also just limit the chances that you go too far off course um, so that your higher self, God, um, and your guardian angels, um, and angels in general, just have to do less work to get you back on course. Um, obviously, if you, like, you go down a really dark path in life, it's going to take a lot more work when you finally do ask for guidance, um, if you do end up like, coming back to God. Um, to get you back on path, it's going to take a longer amount of time because of how far you strayed. Um, so the more you connect to your higher self, the you're going to just intuitively make better decisions. So you're just not going to be, it'll just be like little tweaks to keep you on course, obviously, because you're just doing the right thing more often, um, if that makes any sense. Um, but moving on, the first thing that I recommend doing is just to have good habits. Um, basically, and that goes for anything like diet, exercise, the list goes on, just having good habits, um, waking up early. Um, basically, the or moving on, uh, basically, the more that you show that you are responsible, um, the more that you will be guided because you show that you can handle more, um, if that makes sense, um, and that keeps you on track. Uh, the next thing I'd recommend is meditation uh, or intention-based meditation. Um, the reason I recommend this is basically you, because it's intention-based, you can choose while meditating to basically make the conscious decision to ask your higher self for guidance um, and ask for, yeah, just guidance in general depends on what you're dealing with. Um, and this will give another reason is that meditation gives you more control over your thoughts. Um, the more control you have over your thoughts, or the not control, because that's not the right word, but basically the more you, I'm just gonna use control for this situation, the more you control your thoughts, um, the better decision making and higher chance you have of staying on track. Um, obviously, uh, the next thing I recommend, or the next few things I'm going to recommend, are basically videos that I talk about in every video, but if this is your first time watching my channel, um, basically, I'm going to go over a few videos from the YouTube channels Sapien Medicine and Dream Seeds. Um, the reason I'm going over these is basically they are sound healing videos, and what they do is they clear out your aura and change your emotional state. Um, so in this case, the videos that I'm going to recommend are at least um, somewhat useful for connecting to your higher self and like having higher intuition, which obviously is a part of your higher self, like tapping into your true self, like what do I want, um, not what the world tells me. Um, and this first video is Dream Seeds Energy Blockage Removal. Um, the first thing that I'm or the reason that I recommend this video is basically um, it clears blockages from your chakras or your aura. Um, and this is going to clear lower energy or emotions that are blocking you from accessing higher knowledge. Um, so basically, like a lot of the time, we block this innate intuition that we all have through anger, stress, um, problems, fear, guilt, shame all lower emotions because when you're in those emotional states which obviously everyone gets negative or angry sometimes um when you are in those states if you've ever like or if you've ever noticed like it's hard to think about anything else rather than other than being negative or angry or fearful or something like that um that is because you're creating a blockage and you're not allowing um higher higher intelligence to calm you down and guide you um, 
And like that's kind of the more that you do that, the farther it goes down. It's like a downward spiral. So um, if you do notice yourself having these blocked emotions, I recommend using Dream Seeds Energy Blockage Removal um, just to clear them out and allow you to access that easier. Um, and then once you clear this out, uh, moving on, like what, moving on, once you clear that out or clear those lo lower energies out, um, I would recommend using Dream Seeds Higher Self Connection. Um, this will strengthen your connection to your higher self, as the title says, and allow it to be a lot more easy to guide you back on track if you stray, because you just have a stronger connection to that deeper, higher part of yourself. Um, a quick side note is that the ways in which you will be put on track um, are beyond your comprehension, um, or the ways that they'll like try the other side tries to help all of us. Um, once again, like if the only way to understand it would be would be to literally be God. Um, all I know is that it does exist. Um, basically, all you are doing is following the slight intuitions that you get. Um, all the other infinite variables are being considered by your higher self, angels, and God. Um, that's not stuff that you need to worry about. Um, but yeah, so family, that's all that I wanted to go over today. Um, a quick summary is that we all came down here um, to experience lower consciousness or earth consciousness and forget our all of our true divine natures. Um, because of this lower intelligence, basically, um, we are bound to stray off path uh, or stray off the path that we pre-chose for the highest potential of learning. Um, just because we are human and when you're in this body or you're in this reality, um, you're going to make mistakes. Um, no one's like a robot. No one's perfect. Um, however, it's okay um, as long as we try because our higher self, God, and angels can always readjust these lessons or timelines um, and get us back on course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And just remember that if you make mistakes, uh, which we all do, uh, to just ask for guidance back to the highest path that's possible, um, depending on how bad the mistake was. Um, peace and have a great day full of divine guidance, guys. See you next time.